Okay, this is Ashley, and uh, yeah, the cartooning bounces good. I don't think uh, I can see any areas for improvement on that. Um, the realistic bounce, I thought, could use some work. It looks a little slow and floaty, especially for a bowling ball that has these kind of heavy, sort of very quick, weighty bounces, and it has this sort of floaty, light look to it. So. Let's see what's going on in the Maya file, see if we can improve that. Um, and uh, yeah, so start with the Y translate curve. Uh, I can already see by the shape of the curve. See how you have it like, it should keep speeding up as it approaches the, the contact point, and this one slows down, for example. So let's fix these tangents. Um, uh, let's make sure they're broken, all the tangents. There we go. And... Oops. Just middle mouse dragging on these. And I can already tell this last bounce is going to... We're going to have to adjust the timing on it. But let's look at this first, just with the right... Um, shape of the Y curve. Okay, that already looks a little better. Um, now let's adjust the timing and for that um, let's just make sure we've got all of these control curves selected. So each subsequent bounce should take less time. So let's kind of just watch it. Yeah, definitely this second bounce is even, you know, this one is too long, and that one's definitely too long. So I'm going to start removing, I've got all the curves selected, I'll start removing some frames, so right mouse click, uh, keys, remove in between, and you see it just pulls all those back one, and I'll have to do it again, hit G, and here, G, uh, so do that, remove in between, and then G to repeat. And then here, even more keys, remove in between, G, G, here, and then on this side, keys, remove in between, G, G, okay. Um, whoops, okay, let's, let's watch that now. Alright, and there feels like there's something, I think, uh, yeah, let's try to fix this a bit. I think that, oops, that last bounce is too long still. So let's uh, select all these again. Oh, I didn't have the ball bottom control, but hopefully I didn't use that anyway. And then I'll just remove another in between here and one here and adjust the curves again a little bit. This is probably okay. Okay, so that's a little faster now. Maybe we could lose one more off of this one. Let's go ahead and do that. And again, fix this. Something like that. All right, let's take a look. Better. Um, I might put another um, another little bounce in here. You know, even if it's just a tiny one. Up just a bit. I've got auto keyframe on, and then back to one here. So just that little tiny bounce at the end. It's let's just make it really subtle. It's 
almost like a vibration at the end there. I might go a tiny bit here. Okay, and now the spinning is a problem because it looks like it's just sliding. So it's fine up until here, but um, I'm just going to set a rotate keyframe there. And then it's uh, obviously it's going too far here. So we just need it to between here and here. Let's get rid of this last one. I'm just going to delete that keyframe, right mouse click delete. And over those few frames, um, we just want it to rotate just a little bit between here and there. A little bit more, just using middle mouse drag. Yeah, that kind of is believable. All right, so that's that's better. So, and again, you can you so you can work on this a little bit more.